Hello YouTube, um, I just wanted to share a big, uh, quick build order guide for Abyssid today. For any Guam enjoyers who happen to want to delve more into the Abyssid. Um, the build order I'm going to show to you guys today is Double TC Military Wing. Um, a very, a very good build order in my, in my opinion. Something that I've been doing a lot more. Um, so we're just going to jump right into the game and show you. I'm um, not going to draw anything down, just going to show you how it's done. Six on uh, sheep. Bring your two sheep to your TC so you can move out on the map, of course. Your, uh, your seventh guy is rallied to sheep as well, so you have seven on sheep. Once you have seven on food, your next guy is rallied to gold. The villager rallied to gold can build a house and a gold mine. You'll see in a second here. Build it um, as you're walking towards the gold mine just for more efficiency, right? And your next two villages will be rallied to gold as well, so you'll be 7 food, 3 gold. And I'll show you that in a second. One guy builds the mining camp, one guy starts mining gold. This guy will actually have 10 gold before the mining camp completes, so just make sure he doesn't walk all the way back to the TC. Let's focus on that. Alright, once you have 7 on food, 3 on gold, your next villager is going to build the House of Wisdom. And what I like to do is I like to build the House of Wisdom towards your stone. Because that's the best way to connect the stone. You can also connect um, your gold mine. It really depends on where, where uh, how your base spawns, but... General idea, build it towards the stone. Okay. Once you build the House of Wisdom, your next villager goes to food, so you have 8 on food, and your villager on House of Wisdom goes to build a mining, sorry, lumber camp after he completes the House of Wisdom. And look at the build order, 8 on food, 3 on gold, guy on House of Wisdom. You'll see in a second here, it's a very good build order. Okay, so you should have 8 on food, once you age up, and take 4 off. And just to e just easy to remember, once you age up, you should have four on food, but, um, six on wood. Only says five here because this guy's building the bomb camp at the moment. Once you have six on wood, five, four on food, you rally your next guy to berries so that you have five on food. Once you have fifty wood, you can build a mill. You rally a sixth guy to food, and once you start the mill, you can actually take off you guys on sheep and put them on berries, so that all your villagers are on berries, because berries gather better. Alright. Once you have six on food, you can rally two more villagers to wood, so that you have eight on wood. You can build a house as well. Because you're going to need that house, because your units from the military wing are coming. That is going to pop cap you if you're not watching. Alright, once you have 150 gold, you're going to get that wheelbarrow attack. Yep, right now. Alright, so now you have 8 on wood, you can rally your next guy to stone. So your military unit should come out any second now, about at about 4 minutes. Um, I've done this build a lot, so... Maybe you won't, your timing won't be as uh, good, but it's fine. Those guys move towards your opponent's base, and as soon as you age up, you should be saving wood so you can build a stable. This is important because, of course, they're building units to counter this army, which is going to be archers. You want horsemen to counter their archers.
Go with horseman when you can. And then once you have eight on wood, all your the rest of you guys can be rallied to stone. Um, you should have. You have eight buildings. It depends how many you have connected to the House of Wisdom, but I have seven at the moment. Um, you should need to build two more buildings to get Golden Age. And you're trying to build those two buildings now, that's what I'm doing. And, sorry, it's a lot of things going on, but once you have 125 gold, get fresh food stuff. Continue making horsemen if you uh, think you need to. And at this point, you're just waiting for the resources to get a second TC. Um, you have horsemen, you have Golden Age 1. Um, yeah, that's really all you need, and then you're just trying to get a good villager balance for second TC. And we have a pretty good balance at the moment, I'd say. Maybe even take one off of food if you really want a min max. And just waiting for the, the resources. You should know that you have enough stone for a second TC when you hit 850 stone. I'm just waiting for that to pull off my villagers. 850 stone. Can pull them off now. Just about enough resources to make a second TC. Just waiting on the wood now. So at about 620, you should start building a second TC. You should have a stable, you should have Golden Age 1, you should have your military units. And this is just a nice, very easy build order. Um, nothing too complicated, but very, very well rounded, I would say. Like, you have units, you have a second TC, you have Golden Age, you're not really cutting any corners, which is good. And yeah, that's that's all I want to share with you guys. So, um, oh, I'm gonna go over matchups a quick. Uh, very quick, just so you guys kind of have an idea of what's best, what 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 civs you want to be using this against. Okay, for so for instance, Ottomans, you could use that exact build order against Ottomans. Uh, Malians, you can do that pretty much the exact thing, I'd say. Now, English is one of the civs I probably would not do that build order against. Um, there are other options, um, but I wouldn't do I wouldn't do this build order. China you can do it versus, um, if you want to be aggressive versus them. If you don't want to be aggressive, you can go Eco Wing, that's just fine as well. Um, French, definitely a, a save you can do this build all over versus. Just remember to, instead of building Horsemen, um, go for the Barak and build Spearman. That's all. That's that's the only difference. Atri, you can do the build order, you can also do Eco Wing, just like China I'd say. can do the build order versus Mongos. Um, Again, maybe you don't want to build horsemen, but you can do the build order. Same same with Roos. Um, can do the build order, maybe not horsemen, probably your preference, right? And then Delhi and Abbasid, um, yeah, you could you can do the build order, you can build horsemen, and it should be good. Um, Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, that's my Abbasid 2TC military wing build order. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, catch you on the next one.